think the first painting I, I really recall clearly was when I was six years old. Um, ever since then, it was, it was just something that uh, I constantly did. We're not just transmuting substances into something beautiful and complex. We're not just taking dirt and oil and creating something from, from scratch. We're not just transforming the materials, we're also transforming ourselves. Uh, through painting, I find that I learn a tremendous amount about uh, myself, about the world around me, how I interact with it. And uh, so <clears throat> painting for me is, is it's a way of, of really understanding uh, the universe. I believe Socrates said that, imagine there is a cave, and in this cave uh, there are three men who are chained to a wall. They cannot move, they cannot turn their heads, they cannot move their bodies, they don't really know that their bodies actually exist. Uh, as far as they can't see them, they can only feel them, I, perhaps. But the point is, their entire lives, uh, all that they've seen before them were silhouettes, were shadows cast on the the cave wall in front of them uh, by a, a, a torch that was behind them. And so whoever it was who had chained them to this wall had people walk by, you know, carrying pitchers of water, carrying fruit on their heads, uh, going about daily business as if they were in a town or something and talking and interacting. And these men, these prisoners, all they knew of life were these two-dimensional shadows cast on the wall, these two-dimensional figures. And so uh, Socrates said that if you were to take one of these people and suddenly release him so that he encountered the three-dimensional world, he would be first absolutely shocked. He would be in absolute disbelief. He wouldn't understand what he was seeing. He wouldn't believe what he was seeing. Then he would be incredibly angry for being forced into this thing that he didn't understand. He would be afraid. He would be angry. Eventually, he would come to terms with it, and he would understand something fundamental that the other two did not understand. And if you put him back into that, you know, into that cave, and you locked him back up with the two other men, and he tried to explain to them what he understood, what he saw, they would, they would call him a liar, they would call him insane, they, they simply wouldn't understand. And so Socrates was saying that this is what philosophy is. This is the, the greater level of understanding. This is the third dimension. And so <clears throat> this, this started my thought process of, of wondering, uh, applying that to my own situation, applying that to the situation of mankind. Uh, how do we know that, that we are not uh, metaphorically chained to in a cave? How do we know that the three dimensions we see and know are, are not just, are not merely the shadow cast on the wall by a flickering candle?